significant is this for the U.S. and Jordan in dollar terms economically and also in impact for the U.S. economy, impact for Jordan? I'll check. I have several that are providing notice to people and, and trying to – that they have the responsibility for taking the steps. They have the authority, the influence to carry out the actions that are necessary to, to reduce violence and reduce the level of tension there. Uh, but the President has a, a, a great deal of uh, persuasive ability. We have a, a great deal of influence in the region. He's continued to consult with, with both parties and, and with uh, leaders in the region, and we'll continue to do all the diplomatic work that we can to try to get the parties to agree on a, to, to move forward on the agreement we reached in Egypt. There's, uh, we understand that there's a lot of frustration that's built up on both sides now. Our priority, our focus now is on ending the bloodshed. We think it's important for both sides to implement the security provisions at Sharm el-Sheikh. That's the only real way to end the violence there. That's a point the President made in his phone calls over the weekend to Chairman Arafat, to Prime Minister Barak, um, and that's, that's the message we'll continue to deliver as we consult with parties in the region over the next couple of days. To step down and hold elections uh, and that the OAS process but it also um, it, well, it, it, it fits the vision of trade that the president